Yo, bro, your nose is sweating, fam. <laughs> Yo, how your earlobes sweating right now? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by the Bodega Boys, Jesus Nice, and the Kid Nero. Ah, ah, two, three, three, four, J. He's cheating my total cast, I'm stupid. <laughs> you can catch them on Showtime's new late night series, Jesus and Mero, which premieres tonight, actually, February 21st at 11 p.m. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you for having us. It's, it's been too long. People Way have been, too long. People have been waiting for this yes. forever. So yes. we're glad we could do it for the community and for the people. This is like when SVU does the crossover with like Chicago PD, like <laughs> so wait, 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 all my faves in one spot. Oh my Whoa. god! Well, before we begin, Mara, I think we should point out that you requested oat milk. Is that the Alpine, New Jersey influence? Or... <laughs> wow. Wow, you put me in Alpine. Shout out to you for putting me in Alpine. I ain't even there yet, bro. Like, Shout out to everyone that used to watch our Ocho <laughs> complex. It's like, wow. Wow. Like, Excuse nothing else. Like, Showtime, that's what. Meryl's drinking oat milk? Oat milk? What? what? A little bit of a curveball. Yo, you know what it is? Is mm -hmm. I'm wildly lactose intolerant, and in order for not for, for me to not pee out my ass on set, because y'all wouldn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm also wildly lactose tolerant. You see me with my lactate. You know no big oak over here. <laughs> okay. And the hand right here? Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, you got flats too. You smart guy. Mm hmm. I'm cool. A little crumb to the crumb up there. A little kick. Mm -hmm. So I want to start by taking it back to that dump hole studio on 50th Street, where not only Jesus and Meryl began, but also Hot Ones. And I think it's important to shout out Donnie Kwok. Donnie Kwok, the God, only person, God. The only person to respond to our pitch email. What role did he play in bringing you guys together? It's the same pitch email. Like sure. we, at the time, you know, we were just two guys from the Bronx twittering, as the kids would say. And every time that our tweets were interact, people were just like, yo, there's like a natural chemistry. You guys talk about the same thing. And Donnie Kwok, because he's a genius, was like, yeah. yo, we're going to do a podcast with you guys. Yeah. And from there, here we go. Do you remember the first time that Joe LaPuma hooked you up with free kicks? Yeah, I felt like it was a strong arm move. And now I feel bad, because I feel like I strong armed him. <laughs> and I walked in, I was like, damn, yo, those great baits are hard, my nigga. Can I have them? <laughs> and he was just like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, sure, here. <laughs> nah, Joe's good people. Cause Joe was Joe's coming, he'd be like, I love it. I love it, keep it going. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Take a joke. He could yeah, take a joke. Yeah, he's a good sport, yeah, yeah. Oh, he also has the tightest pants in the, in the world. Shout out to my guy Joe, though. You know what I'm saying? That's my homie. Do you have a favorite Rich Antonello memory? Did he ever take you to yes, Del Frisco's our favorite for crab legs? Rich no! We had to, we performed, we did a live Jesus, and Mer Jesus versus Mero for, like for some, marketing, as a marketing. Like some ad on, shit? Some like. ad sales meeting on 9-11. <laughs> First of all, who schedules a meeting on 9-11? So we open with that. And before we even go on, we're like in the bathroom, you know, a little nervous, whatever. And Rich is there with his dick out at the urinal. <laughs> He's like, guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. You're killing it. You, are you guys gonna flame me? Doing great. You guys gonna flame me? Yeah, I'd like, love it if you flame I, me. I fucking love it. So we get out there, we're like, yeah, we're just talking to Rich with his dick out. And his fucking dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Oh, I'm fucking rich. Shout out to Rich. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, literally, he is rich. Hippy dippy rain. Deep green. All right. That's mm -hmm. what I smoked last night. Look. I was just saying, LeBron, this is a little more spicier <laughs> than the last one. So you guys have been pretty open about the early podcast being a little bit more cathartic, a little bit more rage-fueled than yeah. the stuff that you guys do now. Definitely. When you think back on the awkward faces-to-face -face that you've had with people that you roasted in the past, mm -hmm. is there a story that stands out? Most people are good sports, like surprisingly. Like most people, like we roasted, they come on and they're like, yo. You got me. Um, Terry Crews. Yeah. Terry Crews, he was saying he was addicted the to masturbation. Porn and, and masturbating and shit. And, and we're just like, we found a video in. clip where he was like building his own home computer. And I was like, yo, fam, if you were addicted to <laughs> masturbation, maybe uh, the fastest graphic card ain't helping you, my <laughs> you guy. Like, like, you know, maybe you don't need that solid state drive. Dog, dude. You that little three that. seconds before that quick time loads, maybe that saves your marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the whole time, we're just like, you know, just no disrespect, Terry. Like, you know, you're a lot bigger than us. And he came on, he was like, yo, that was hilarious. He's like, yo, that was mad funny. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? Then he gave us a wild big bear hug to remind us that the muscles still work. Yeah, yeah, I'll crush you with one arm. You know what I'm saying? Also, Diddy, he was great during the interview, and at one point, like he leaned over, and was like, "I'll be watching y'all." <laughs> yeah, that and was, I was wild. like, oh, That was wild. Okay. Also, Diddy doesn't give a shit about anything because he came on and it was like we're on another network. He's like, "Hey, shit don't work out here. Yeah, y'all can always come to revolt." Oh, I was like, "Fam," and he looks straight to camera. He's like, "Y'all can always come to revolt." 
You know what I'm saying? Where the black people at? You know what I'm saying? You don't got to work for the man. I was like, holy shit. I was like, God damn, bro. Relax, Diddy. We not all Diddy. Bro, shit. Garlic, grapefruit, onion, onion carrots. carrots. Okay, all right. Sounds like black a Williamsburg bodega. Calling it a Williamsburg bodega is actually a rather poetic segue because a few years ago, you guys did a great first we feast guide to New York City bodegas, mm -hmm. where you said that one of the first signs of gentrification is when Poppy puts a rack of vegan snacks on the counter. So with that in mind, I want to show you some of the other ways food has been gentrified over sure. the last couple of years, because I think the world needs the Bodega Boys perspective. Oh yeah. All right. So first things first. I'm the illest. <laughs> so where he goes, he's like, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have any thoughts on the Whole Foods Ooh, chopped yeah, cheese? No. We actually ra, ra, ra. Yeah, that's it's a, just a yeah. chopped cheese that's never ridden a train, yeah. never seen a four-story building, yeah. never heard a rap album. Never. Just, just bland. It's like chopped cheese in essence only. Like Imagine, it's chopped and it's cheese, but it's not a chopped it. cheese sandwich. A chopped cheese, it is, chopped, it is. There's nothing better nothing, than a chopped bro. cheese, especially if you like watch if Smack you, at like 4 a.m. Bro, on a you Friday need that. Night. You need that. It's, Ooh, it's a perfect drunk food. Have you seen St. Felix in Hollywood mm. selling 40s of Colt 45 in I a brown about paper that. bag for 15 bucks? Yeah, if people true. will pay that, get the money. Yeah, hustle, man. Hustle. Listen, as as Bronxites, bro, we're always looking for a scheme, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the scheme, make it happen, bro. If they can pay 15, if they can drop $15 for a 40 in a brown bag, man, wait till I charge $40 Ooh. for table service nutcracker. Y'all yeah. not gonna be ready. Y'all not ready for these $20. I'm gonna make Lucy's. it right at your, like, Guacamole, tableside oh, guacamole. Oh man, oh tableside Newport, sir. Cheers. Oh, I'll light it for you for twenty-five dollars. Do you guys have any thoughts on these avocado-only restaurants like Avocaderia in Brooklyn? I feel like in five years we're gonna have like a shortage of avocados, and it's gonna be because of restaurants like this. Absolutely. Like, you can't build a whole restaurant around an avocado. Avocado is an extra. Like when you go to Chipotle, yeah. they're not like start with guacamole. At the end, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa yo, yo, my guy, yo, fam, I don't know Guac if you're ready for this. You ready? Are you it's extra? Are you? Do you have the financial fortitude to us? You gotta ask you, like, because before you were wild, you was like, I don't care. Yo, red beans, yo, cilantro, ah, 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 ah. Yo, oh, throw some extra oh, thick. Oh, oh, wow. Ooh, Oof. damn. I don't you call know. my financial advisor. Cheaper gold. Cheaper gold. Right. This is gonna get me smack? Mm mm. Yeah. We'll play around with Scotch Bonnet. My sister, when we went to Jamaica, they have the Scotch Bonnet, mm -hmm. the pepper shrimp, and she was eating it and she touched her eyeball. But we were driving in the country of Jamaica, so then we had to stop at like a hand pump thing, and I was like, you're just gonna get like amoebas in your eye, but whatever. <laughs> That's the thing, it's good that you know that, because people come on the show all the time, and they're just a little bit reckless. They get a little water, and then like, boom, and I'm boom, like, don't oh, do that. Man. Nah, nah. Oh, this is definitely thick. scotch bonnet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So as we mentioned in your intro, Jesus and Mero, it's back tonight, you ball bags. And then yeah. there's been a lot that's gone on in rap news during your TV hiatus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Soldier Boy recently had one of the most amazing press runs ever, oh where he was God. billed as this hip hop pioneer entrepreneur. Would you invest in a Soldier Boy startup? No. <laughs> no. So, because yeah. Soldier Boy, he has some ideas, but a lot of his ideas seem like yeah. you're trapped in a corner and he's wild coked up at yeah. after hours. Yeah, they're all after hours business pitches. Because like, he's like, yo, yo I want to make a video game system. They're like, oh, we start from scratch. He's like, no, I know a guy out in China yeah, that got yeah. like blank consoles. Yo. Like, okay, that sounds highly illegal. Yo, yo, check it. It's going to have every game. From every system, right? Why should you, you have to buy an Xbox to play Xbox games? You, you know get them all. You get the Switch, the Xbox, Xbox Atari, you know ColecoVision. All that. Look at my Bitcoin. It's doing numbers, yo. He hasn't. He hasn't proven to me that he is the yeah. Elon Musk that hip hop is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One thing that you guys have remained consistent on since the early podcast days is that J. Cole has trash. If you turn <laughs> if you turn the page on that, if you, you turn the, the page that, on that. The problem he is dressed that's so he's woke, so he can't say he's trash. He can't, he can't say that. He's he woke. Is, no, he's open. He is dressed. The thing is, we're still like Bronx scumbags, so I'm not really listening to woke music. <laughs> Like, I, I listen to music that's probably bringing down black people. You know like, what I'm saying? I gotta hear a little gunplay and a little misogyny and you know some, maybe some cocaine raps. Yeah. So, you know, J. Cole's not really my cup of tea, but some people love it. People, some people And then some J. Cole songs, I'll be jamming to it, and I'll be like, yo, who is yo, this? Yo, is They'll be like, J. Cole. J. And I'm like, like, oh, cool. Okay, all right. Ooh, that's all right. So, that's yeah. all right. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Good play song. that new blue face, though. <laughs> How does this Takashi 6 9 saga end? Um, him snitching on everybody yeah. in the world. Like, he put his grandma in jail. What's wild is, like, he's snitching on everyone, and I think he saw a lot of law and order, so he's gonna be like, we're well, gonna put me in witness protection. They're gonna be like, you have a 6 9 tattooed on your face. <laughs> Stupid. There is no, you can't go to Scottsdale, Arizona, and start over. Dumb, 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 nigga. <laughs> This 
This is a slow riser, you feel it? Coming up in the back. Mm. Sneaking up on you. All right, guys, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. So mm. I'll bust out the laptop. I'll show you the picture. You just tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? Sounds good. All right, Ooh. laptop, please. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, iconic. Wow. So now, before, like, first of all, this is at the VMAs, mm -hmm. which we, I believe, we are banned from yes. because we were fucking wilding. The night before, Pete Davidson came and delivered us Twizzlers on a hoverboard at the Ritz Carlton. Yes. After security, security knew we were smoking OD weed, but because we were staying at the Ritz Carlton, they were like, uh, I guess they're rich, so we can't stop them. Yes. So they were just bothering everyone else around yes. there. Meanwhile, Pete Davidson's doing 360s eating Twizzlers, smoking weed. So we get to the VMAs, and I have anyone here been to a VMAs? I did not know they're open bar. Oh, we are like super wet. and like. We've never been anywhere with bad celebrities, so we're just walking. I'm like, oh shit! Yo, look at oh, this shit. motherfucker right here! It's Winky Granny! Yo, oh shit! Oh, wow, shit, Justin yo. Bieber! Oh, like, yo, I that's wild! I call Dr. Drew. Dr. Oz? Dr. Oz? <laughs> <laughs> yo, that nigga Dr. Oz! Yo, we literally stand, like, you know the red, whole red carpet, stepping over repeat bullshit. We're standing behind <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens, and I was like, I'm super duper high, and I turn around and I'm like, she's where you are. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's that bitch Vanessa Hudgens, yo! She goes like this, she's like, Oh, I don't know. Who so now the we're fuck just speeding. Are. We're just like we like they're like, please sit down, don't stand. We're like, what the yeah, hell? This is the only chance for celebrities. Ah. We sit down, and then Amber Rose and Black China come and sit in front of us. They're wearing bodysuits that are covered in slurs. So they were I just, remember that. Yeah. I remember that. So one. we're like, yeah. you know, because we're media whores. We're like, damn, we're not gonna get yeah, no, no TV, TV time, time bro. I don't know what Miro says to Amber Rose. She turns around and looks at him with such disgust. I think she's about to punch him. Black China sees this, comes running over. And I'm like, yo, we came from the Bronx together, we leave in LA together. You know what I'm saying? If we fight Amber Rose and Black China, <laughs> China we are fighting right now. We fight right now. I don't care. Thankfully, it never came to the fisticuffs. We're walking around, we see Jaden Smith, we're chopping it Everybody, up with him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to Jaden, whatever, and I look out the corner of my eye and I see Miro, and he's like, his his head stops here on some Serbian killer chest. Yeah. It's Kanye's bodyguard. Bro, this dude's chest was the size of a toddler mattress. Like, it was, it, like, your man was this wide. So, I was just, all I hear is, I want to hear from Kanye. I want to hear from Kanye. Because I went up and I was like, yo, can I get a photo with Kanye? You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, yo, this is, this is it. Like, yeah, we ain't like, never going to be here we, again. We never going to be here again. They're going to kick us out after <laughs> this. Yeah, that's it. Like, this is it. You know what I'm saying? This is our four, this is our Al Bundy four touchdown game. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the bodyguard is like, yo, you are not talking to Kanye. And I was like, I want to hear him tell me that shit. And I put it at Kanye like, I want to hear him tell me that shit. Again, because I'm us. smacked. I see, I'm like, oh, if we fight this bodyguard, we all fight <laughs> we bodyguard. All bodyguard. <laughs> so I run over there like, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> the Kanye's just like, all right, come on, come on, come on. But Kanye, because he's so cool, he refuses to stand. So we have to squat down to take the picture. Yep. So he, if you notice, Miro is in the aisle. Yep. I decided I'm going to squat down next to Kanye. What I didn't realize was a very pregnant Kim Kardashian was in the seat behind me, yes. and I ended up sitting on Kim Kardashian, and Kanye goes, watch out for my wife, dog. It's my wife, dog. But Kanye was very excited to see us, as you can see. Yeah, he's very yeah, happy. Mm. See, this is when, like, at first you're like, oh, this ain't shit, and then you feel it like... Okay. Good though. So for years, you guys have riffed on trending topics on mm -hmm. a hot mic without much of a filter. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you've avoided the problematic police, or at least in a big PR disaster way? Is the key Jesus to just say allegedly and qualify everything that way? Um, I think it's more we self-center. Yeah. There are certain things you know that you could have gotten away with saying in 09 that you should not even formally as a sentence in your head. Don't even put it in your drafts. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't even, put, don't even try it. If you watch the progression of our comedy, there's certain jokes we used to do that we won't do anymore. Because as we've experienced the world and we've come across different people, we realize that the humor hits differently, that yeah. a certain joke that might have been funny four years ago, like you actually meet a person from this specific group and you're like, oh shit, like I didn't even know that was offensive. Oh. Like, yes, we were from the Bronx. It's like, ah, ah, suck my dick and all that shit. But we're not in the crosshairs of PC culture like that because we're not like fighting against it. Like yeah. we, we, we're not, we're not out there like, oh, PC culture. Yeah, you can't say what comedy. you want anymore. You can't say what you want anymore. Nah, you can say what you want. You just got to be funny about it mm -hmm. and like right. smart about it and approach it the right way. And don't just I mean? say like, something for shock value because exactly. that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people are just like, oh, you're offended. Oh, oh I, 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 I triggered you. Sorry, lips. It's like triggered you, libtard. <laughs> you're like, nah. And man, you know, like we say, and there's people who were selling out 
how Arena's doing that, but it's just like at the end of the day, what's the what's the expectancy on yeah, that? How long can you do that for? Like, what do you think has changed? Because, you know, when you started out making jokes for the internet, it's during that, like, gratata, ta the yeah. Terrio era, yeah. the I'ma keep it G real yeah. era. Like, what do you think's different about making jokes for the internet now versus then? Man, we birthed that whole shit, man. <laughs> Motherfuckers wasn't doing shit like that before Speak us, on bro. It. Speak on it, You know cuss. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers wouldn't do shit like that for us. Niggas we, wasn't going on we, viral videos. Motherfuckers took our whole flow, Sean. <laughs> our whole flow, Sean. Motherfuckers talking about academic. Academic? <laughs> academic? <laughs> what? Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, shit. Motherfuckers took our whole flow, man. <laughs> <laughs> My body's already kind of pushing back. It smells like trouble. Okay, you definitely feel that garlic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 This is where get. Yeah. This, this is where it's starting to get heavy. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that one right there. All right. That one's uh. That Reaper part. That's the part that got me nervous. So as your fans know, you guys rep New York hard as hell, Ooh. especially when it comes to sports. Where is the food better, Madison Square Garden or Yankee Stadium? That is a good question. And once my tongue responds, I'm gonna tell you after I start crying. Woo! 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 It's getting, getting, getting a little hectic. Woo! Madison Square Garden, um, if you are like a season ticket holder for the Rangers or the Knicks, they have like the VIP before the game and they have like the biggest prawns mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Like, and this is like people from Long Island, like, let me get my fucking prawn on. Yeah, oh my God. Hey, got a couple prawns here. Hey, uh, you know who's a good guy? Lecter. You ever seen him when he played? Oh yeah. my God. Yo. Hey, that was a guy right there. Henrik Ludquist never lets a puck get past him. That's oh. right. This Trump guy, he's doing the right job if the liberals let him read. You know? Uh, you know. Anyway, I gotta go. My train around Conkham is coming in. All right. Gotta leave. You know? I'll be back here next week uh, to catch Billy Joel. Let's go, Rangers. Do you guys have a barroom take on the great Michael Jordan versus LeBron James versus Kobe Bryant goat debate? That's where we uh we divide, because yeah. he feels LeBron is the goat. Mm -hmm. Sure. Jordan, Jordan is like, yo, mythical, dunked on everybody, changed the game. Ah 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 ah. He was not a 6'9 freight train that had court vision like Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, and there's a tweet that just I just retweeted. Go on my Twitter right now, motherfucker, that says that LeBron has a higher percentage of go-ahead field goals with 10 seconds or less in the playoffs than Michael Jordan. So suck my dick. All right, analytics. first of all, you, you, you're bringing up stuff that doesn't matter. Let's talk about who had better jeans, okay? What Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan bought acid wash jeans into the he NBA. He did, he did. Chelsea Cup boots. Uh, first person, they fucked them kids. Yeah. The man played with a double hoop earring. Mm. Who play, who gambles until six in the that's morning right. yeah, no, and then right. put drops like 56 points? And then be like, yo, I had the flu. And then is like, has the wild attitude about it. Yeah. The greatest video ever. Is that video where someone challenged Michael Jordan and was like, yo, if you if you can hit five shots in a row, all these kids get free sneakers for the summer camp. And Michael Jordan was like, fuck, fuck that. them kids. Them kids going home barefoot. Fuck them kids. Love that guy. If you guys were handpicked to represent the Knicks in free agency, what would be your pitch to Kevin Durant? Uh yo, bro, I will personally brush your hair every day. Mm -hmm. Like yo, I, will I will have your I wave will, spinning, fam, bro. I will run all your burner accounts. You see my tweets all is of fire, fam. Yo, come on, KD B. fan number one, all NYCK day. fan 1980. Yo, fam. KD seven ring seven nine, all that. Dog, you know how much double toppy you will get in this city? Oh wow, you know what I'm wow. You go Why to fam. KD to... such a good player. Why does he get more calls? You wow, wow, wow. Remember how trash the league was before KD came to NYC? You know Look, you can get that. You can get that. I got you, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, are you guys ready to move on? Probably not. Probably not. Cause this is the last one. Yikes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, it's a little right. burn already. Yeah, it's a little burning. This is like when you first the puberty and you don't really know what you're doing and yeah. you like use like facial cleaner and get in the eye of your dick. Yeah, oh man. All right guys, <laughs> you guys have been making TV shows, podcasts, yeah. live tours, press days, all together over the last five plus years, but how well do you really know each other? It's time to find out oh, and shit. we're gamifying it. This is the bucket of BFF questions. The oh, way it works shit. is Mero, Okay. you'll reach in there and you'll ask okay. Jesus a question, then you'll pass the bucket. Okay. So Jesus, he'll reach in there. All I know about him is he has four kids. That's all I know. Oh, all right, all right. Let's, let's take him around. What's the number one complaint you hear about me from our shows, producers, and or crew? The one complaint about Miro. 
He does not respond to emails or text messages in a timely fashion. Sometimes it's three to four days. Yes. Yes. That's, I, when people are like, yo, what's the best way to reach me? I was like, I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Miro, what's one thing your wife dislikes about me? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what is what is how they dislike about Jesus? Uh, I don't you know what it is because I'm single, so I'll be taking him on wild adventures when we leave. <laughs> like he should just be in a hotel as a family man. <laughs> and I'm not gonna think about like Yo, Yo we're going to strip club, let's go. <laughs> we'll go downstairs. She's like, you're I I don't like when you're unavailable. I, I, I get that text at 2 a.m. Right. and I'm just like, we'll be in the strip club and she'll be like, he'll be like, hey, honey, dog. yo, hang up on that bitch and kill in the house. Yo, yo. I'm like, I got you a lap dance, uh, nigga, let's uh, go. I'm like, uh, that's your East Coast wife. Uh, She's like, what was that? I'm like, click. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, uh. Then I start doing the anime sweats and she's like, uh, 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 uh. hot ones, breaking up relationships. <laughs> <laughs> who's, like, who's Jimmy Fallon like more, me or you? Uh, uh, damn, I was about you to say something. So. I know exactly what you are about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, we love you, Jimmy. We love you, Jimmy. <laughs> we gonna keep that off the record. <laughs> I think he might like Jesus a little better. Oh, well, lady, can I get another beer? <laughs> <laughs> love you, Jimmy. Nah, we be having fun. <laughs> This is Hellfire. Hellfire! This. Look, I'm that Gucci sweater. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, this looks like a death metal band cover, bruh. Look at death, this shit, bruh. Metal Aklavich or something? Yeah. <laughs> death Lock. Fear this. Fear this. Fish of the world's reaper. Oh, oh my god. Man. They look like they make pro alt right music. I don't get it. <laughs> Loyalty and brotherhood. Uh, it's as hot as the Tiki Torch. There's something ironic about dying from eating chicken during Black History Month. <laughs> Woo. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Yo. Yo, bro, your nose is sweating, fam. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, how your earlobes sweating right now? <laughs> Yo. Chill. Uh, you, ever be, you ever take an edible, be on the train, and the train get delayed, and you see that shit kick in? <laughs> I like conduct, I'm getting off next time. <laughs> please, please, let me off. Yo. Oh, man. Yeah, listen, bro, I, I listen. This is not made for you. Nah, we finished this shit. This is not made we for you. We started a complex, we're gonna finish this shit. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta do this for Joe LaPuma. <laughs> So you guys have become the most visible representation of this very regional, specific New York style of comedy. So on this wing, we want a city guide from two of Bronx finest. What can you tell the people about the appeal of La Marina and Dykeman? And then what did its closing, what impact did that have on nightlife in the Bronx? You made me cry from the wings, now you got me cry from the La Marina. Listen, bro. Think about the most beautiful beach you've ever been to. Yes. Like probably the French Riviera. Riviera you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just yachts and Jay-Z. Now Jump take all the sand from it. Dump that shit on a parking lot in the Hudson River. Ah! All right? You know what I'm saying? Right hey. off the fucking... Do you, wanna, do you want to smoke hookah with people who clearly are using your credit card because they're cameras <laughs> called La Marina? Do you want cabanas with girls stand on them and dirty Air Force Ones? You know what I'm saying? Yo. Come through. But I say all this, but if you saw me at La Marina, you know anytime I was there, I was having the fucking time of my, my life. life. Can you make a case for City Island being the best beach in New York City? Ooh. Wow. Where else can you have a, a Puerto Rican dude popping a wheelie on a motorcycle next to a 50-year-old racist Italian man mm -hmm. and also two Latina women having a fight with chairs at the end of the island? You and they're all saying? Yankee fans. And they're all Yankee they're fans. They're all Yankee fans. You know what I'm saying? That's the common bond. <laughs> Which is the more iconic New York couple? Alex Rodriguez and J-Lo or Remy Ma and Papoose? Remy Ma and Papoose, bro. Wrong, neither. J-Lo and Puffy. Wow. wow. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Think about that. He shot the club up and then handed her the burner. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Come on, that's love. That's love, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. Oh, All right. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, man. Listen. Listen. Shout out to Christian. Christian told us. You gotta dab it up. He said don't OD with the dab, so. This is for you, homie. Alright. Oh, last wing. Oh, Alright, here we go. Wait. Hey. Salud. 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 Man, first shot be a masculine one. 
Fast dab. Oh, no. Fast dab. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. All right, Jesus and Mero, here we are at the end of our journey. We've covered a lot of ground today, but one thing we haven't talked about Woo! are the AKAs. And when we saw you guys at the Apollo last year, you'll have the whole crowd chanting AKAs like you guys are Ariana Grande holding out a mic and letting the audience carry the verse. Yes. Right. So now that the brains are fried, tongues on fire, blood is boiling, mm. can you give us a 60 second AKA barrage? I'll start the clock and go. Yo, it's your boy Jesus Nice, aka, you can't say that one anymore, aka Chris S. Sports Sling, aka Eli Lippy, aka Butchers Bully Gully, aka Pakistan Fat Like Terry Go, aka Pakistan Fat Like, here we go! Uh, what else we got? We got uh, we got a David Yur, man, we got uh, Mr. La Marino, Mesh Marino with Cold Misdemeanor and Fresh Misdemeanor, aka Problematic Bay, aka Give me no small change. Give me what? Big, Big money, money wine. wine. What else we got? We got uh, David Yurman. Uh, these are bloody shoes. These expensive. These are bloody shoes. What else we got? We got we got uh, we got two phone jokes. DJ like Machina. We got Mr. Two Forty P. Got my Pino Blurry. Right. We got DJ Woolite. You're listening to Watch FM. Up next, I got. 40 hours of E40 live Ooh. from the Bay, yeah. Uh, what, do, what do we got? We got the Plantain Supernova That's over right. here. We got Barmelo's Anthony. Uh, Barmelo's Anthony. For three, we got Benzo the Clown. Hey, 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 kids. 10 seconds. Ah, we got Romeo Santos. Yo, Nasty from across five. the pond. Oh, Four, it's the three, two, in the sky. Yeah. Someday you will find me. Fuck it, we don't dream on. The last dab, hot you know one. Saying, ah, we survived. You know what I'm saying? We did that. And nailed the dismount. And look at you guys. Ten wings up, ten you know wings saying? down. You know and now there's is. nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you guys. This camera, this camera, this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Yo, Woo. it's February 21st, which is tonight. You know what I'm saying? At 11 o'clock, the number one show late night makes its debut. Coming back to the streets. Back to the streets. Back for the streets. On Showtime at 11 p.m. You know what I'm saying? And if you saw any articles on February 20th about I ran off to Africa like Dave Chappelle, disregard that. Disregard that. Disregard that. You know what I'm saying? He did not run off with the bag. Run off with the bag. Oh, we got the um the sleep apnea mask coming this summer for all our kids that you know you don't breathe so good. So you know the brand is strong. Nebulizers for real niggas. That's right, yo. If your heart stops while you sleep, we get it started again. Ah 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 ah. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be on the B2K Scream Tour. That's right, yeah. Millennium, Millennium Tour, we okay, out Okay, all right, you're gonna be doing Icebox. <laughs> Touch. Good job, guys, good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Outlands experience. <laughs> oh, shit. Woo! Glad we survived that. God damn, that show was up. Awesome. <laughs> so we just need to get our intro shot from you now? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom attendant going to be like, hey, Papi, you're going to have to give me 20. Papi, you have to tip me good because you just peeing out your ass. In you the can't Euro. come in here. He's a celebrity. He's sick. He's sick. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do? Just be in a urinal like this, like, ah! Hope some of the water splashes up. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whew. Damn, how the fuck do you do this? Like, this is crazy. You know, what am I going to do? Get a real job? <laughs> you know? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah! Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Breaking news, Hot Ones fans. This is Sean Evans checking in to say there's a major storm of brewing. Make sure that you batten down the hatches, stock up on non-perishables, and while you wait out the storm, why not binge watch some old Hot Ones? Like, comment, subscribe. Who appreciates you? Me.